YouTube, this is your girl Wing569 coming to you with another video. I hope everyone's having a fabulous Thursday evening. I'm here today with a uh, not a luxury video. It's uh, just some FYI for you guys. Um, last night I had posted a picture on Instagram and I got some feedback that people wanted me to try to give them some information about, you know, what I had posted. So I'm here today to do just that. First, I want to thank all my subscribers, new and old, for subscribing to my channel. Please leave your comments at the comment section and give me a thumbs up and click the bell, which will give you notification every time I come out with a video. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. I don't want the video to be too long. I'm going to give you a watered down version and then you guys can go and do the research yourself. Okay. So last night I had posted a picture of my electricity bill. So I live in a two family house. So that means that I ha I can rent the top floor, the bottom floor, like a multi dwelling. Um, I think I have 2,600 square feet of space and um, I have two kitchens, three bathrooms, six bedrooms. I have two living rooms and two dining rooms. Okay, and then I have a veranda, and I have a driveway, and I have a garage, and then a swimming pool. All of that. So that's all on the 2,600 square feet. Okay. So, um, you know, we've always gotten high electricity bills because, you know, people, when you have kids, you know, I don't have any kids, but, you know, me as a kid, you know, you leave the lights on and the discs on and the TV on and stuff like that. Um, I think I never did that because my mother was so strict with us turning off the TV that we would just turn off the TV. That would be an automatic. But we always had kids in our house that would just do the total opposite. So as the years went past, you know, the standard of living is higher. The prices of everything has gone up. Your bills have gone up. The, the interest rate has gone up. So like my electricity bill... It's just getting crazy, you know. We're on two. So since I live in a two-family house, I have two gas meters and two electricity meters. So we're just gonna deal with the electricity meter. So like for the past couple of years, we've been getting bills. Like my top floor would be like three fifty, and my bottom floor would be like two eighty. So when we're checking everything out, we're like about five five and change. $600 in electricity bill only. Okay. Luckily, three people in this house work. We, we have three people in here and we all work. So we all put in for the bills. Okay. So, um, my mom saw that, you know, you can put solar on your house. So years ago, my mom kept bugging me about the solar panel, solar panel, solar panel. So I started to do a, a research, and this is what I'm telling you guys to do research. Uh, it's important for you to do research because, um, you know, you're going to invest in something that is not a thousand dollars, is not two thousand dollars. These are thousands of dollars that you're going to be um, investing in, but it pays off in the long run. So, and I'm going to tell you why it pays off in the long run. So my bills used to be five, six hundred dollars. Okay. So as I was doing research, I, I, you know, I realized that a couple of years ago when President um, Barack Obama was president, he had signed a bill for clean energy, a clean energy bill, you know, solar, you know, and all of these things that, you know, help the environment. So he gave out incentives, tax incentives for anybody that owned a house that wanted to put solar on their house. You'll get a state and city, um, state and city, uh, well, not, well, no, a federal city and state tax incentive. So I was like, really? Well, what kind of incentive do they give? You know, come to find out that um, certain requirements you have to meet to get at least 
$10,000 back, depending on how much the panels are, you know? So we was like, oh, wow, you know? So we decided, I decided to look for, I, I actually did a few things. During my research, I wanted to know what was the difference between leasing and buying the solar panels. So I'll tell you the two differences between leasing, the leasing and buying. Leasing, it's not yours. So if you sell the house, the panels have to come off. And that's going to be a headache because you once they put the panels on your roof and you take them off, it leaves holes in your roof. Okay. That's one con to leasing. Okay. Now, uh, the pro with buying them is they can stay on your house and your house value goes up. You, you, um, you get a tax, you get a um, property abatement with it. Now, I live in New York City, so it's a little different. Things might be different in other states. So the, my value of the house goes up, right, dramatically. Because um, if you have the solar on your house, you don't have to pay electricity bill. That's the thing, you know. So... Um, and then, um, I said the value, um, and you don't have to take them off. They stay on your roof, you know, now either you want to outright buy them or you want to outright finance them. I had to finance because we had, again, my house is big. So we had to have 36 panels, solar panels on my roof, you know, so you know, that's why we had to finance. It was a little, you know, it was a little, uh, I mean, like, the price is kind of hefty. So I want you guys to do research, you know, because you want to know what you're paying for and stuff like that. So, okay. So I went with a finance company called Dividend Solar. And they found me the installer to install, to make up the panels and install them. So my panels are kind of pretty much um, made up for my roof, you know. Um, and maybe you don't need that many panels, but for us, we need it because remember, we have a top floor and a bottom floor and a basement. Okay. So um, the benefits of, back to what I was talking about with the benefits, when you buy the panels, you get tax incentives. You get the city state tax incentive and then you get federal tax incentive. And I think the, the federal tax incentive, if you go finance, that goes back to the finance company, but you do get other, and you don't have to give it back to them if you don't want to, but um, you can to bring down your payments, you know, your monthly payments. So for us, you know, we have a, a, um, a payment plan that we pay every month. But the thing about it is we don't have to pay electricity bill. So we're only paying for our solar panels. Okay. Um, let me see what else I wanted to tell you guys about the... Um, so, okay. The sun is what generates the energy to your solar panels. The solar panels in return converts, the en converts it into energy. So your light bill, your light bill, your your house would be powered through uh, electricity that the sun gives to the solar panels. Okay, so my uh, electricity uh, company is Con Edison. So I'm not using Con Edison's energy anymore. I am creating my own energy. And once I'm creating my own energy, my that energy is generating things in my house like my TV and you know like my uh, computer and my you know, my house phone and I mean it, it's just doing everything so we're not using Con Edison now the Con Edison bill that I showed you that was eighteen dollars that could have been for the connection because even though you're generating energy you still have to be connected to the um, electricity company's grid. Although you're not using their grid, you still have to be connected by law. You still have to be connected to their grid. So they'll charge you like probably $18 a year to be 
you know, on their grid, you know, connected still, you know, so that, you know, that is what probably that is. I'm not too sure. I got to actually look at my bill, but so I only showed you one half of my bill, the other half of my bill or the other floor. So that was the top floor, the second floor, the bottom floor was a zero balance. So we didn't have to pay electricity bill. So um, it was kind of like, I was kind of happy because, hey, I'm actually, we're actually seeing, we're reaping the benefits of it. So when you lease, the leasing company reaps the benefit, not you, <laughs> because you're leasing. When you buy, you reap more of the benefits more of the benefits. So how it works is as far as like the uh, the finance company, whatever finance company you go to, um, they will find you the installer too because they're hooked up with the installers to, you know, go around and install the solar panels. Um, and then they'll do an assessment of your bills, the, you know, all the bills for like the whole year and they'll tell you and then they'll take the measurement and they'll tell you how many panels you need on your house to um, have enough energy, you know. So people like in Nevada and um, uh, Florida and California, places where it's constantly sunny, they'll rain here and there. But the general thing is, you know, you always have sun you will produce more energy because you have more sun. I live in the Northeast, so what happens is I know between, we'll say, um, April to, we'll say, October or September, we still have sunny days. I'm going to uh, generate energy like that. So when October comes, November comes, December comes, January comes, that energy that I have consumed through my solar panels should carry me into the winter. You understand what I'm saying? And by, we'll say, I'll still be uh, generating energy, but not as much because we'll have more cloudy and snowy days. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't generate enough energy for, you know, the months, but I will have energy, enough energy to carry me into, you know, into the uh, winter time. By March, the sun should be coming out and stuff like that. And so I'll start to generate energy again. So that's how that, you know, whole thing worked with the energy. So um, the finance company would find you someone to, uh, that's if you're going to buy the you know, you're going to finance the solar and they'll come and they'll take the assessment. You show them your bills. They'll tell you how many panels you need to be, you know, to be up on your house, things like that. You sign up the paperwork and they'll tell you what kind of incentive you're supposed to get back from the government. You know, uh, again, every state is different. So don't quote me just because I say it's 10,000. It might not be 10,000 in Florida. It might not be 10,000. And, you know, it depends on how many panels you have on your, on your house and, what the in tax incentives is. And then you also get, now I live in New York City, so we get a property abatement, you know, incentive. So we also get that, you know, so we get a few things. So that's, we got the, that, uh, you know, uh, incentive. So that's what really made me push even more to get the, you know, the panels or whatever the case may be. Um, to me, it's just, a good way to save energy, honestly, you know, um, when you file your taxes, you'll get back your, you know, your refund, your, you know, you'll get back a little bit more in your refund, depending on, um, your income, because it goes on your income of how much, uh, taxes you pay back into the government. And another thing you have to own your house. That's another thing. You can't put it on a, unless you own your apartment building, fine, but you have to own your own home 
and you have to show them proof that you own your own home. Um, and um, what else? The equipment you don't have to pay for. The equipment is in the price of the actual um, installation and stuff like that. It's no maintenance, low or no maintenance. So you don't have to even worry about it. They're not going to fall off your, <laughs> your roof, anything like that. They're very secure now because they go inside your attic to see what kind of beams you have. And that's how and that's how they maneuver to put them on, you know, your uh, roof. Also, um, the building inspector has to sign off on it. Now, I don't know where you guys are, where you guys live at, but in New York City, the building inspector have to be involved in it. The fire department has to be in, involved with it because if I have a fire, they have to be able to be on the roof. So, you know, it's a lot of little things, technicalities, or not technicalities, but a lot of logistics that go into getting solar, but you wouldn't have to worry about that. The installer has to worry about that. At the end of the installation, the building inspector has to come in and sign off on it. If he doesn't sign off on it, then you would have to, well, not you though, but, um, the uh, installer has to come back and do the adjustments that the building inspector wants on it because they're the ones that sign off on it. If they say no, it's a no. So, and that's good, like with us here, because, you know, a lot of people put things on their house and then when it caused a fire, you know, oh, the building inspector didn't check it out, but they need to, you know. So, um, you know, that is that whole thing with our building inspector department. They have to come in and they have to okay it. If they don't okay it, the installer has to come in and make their uh, adjustments and things like that. So, um, I th oh, and then also what a good thing about the whole thing that you would have to, I recommend, and I've always recommended this even before the solar energy efficient light bulbs buy a couple of energy efficient light bulbs i mean even if you don't have solar now just buy it. it i mean to use because it makes a world of difference as far as like you know how bright they're they're shining bright but they're not pulling in a lot of energy and that's the whole thing to it so you know that's also one thing about it so we, so what happened is, so let me explain. So when Carnetison gets involved in it, which is my electricity company, they come in and they change out my old meters to meet the new specifications to my solar panels. So that means that we have like Carnetison, before Carnetison used to come in downstairs in the basement to check the meter. He doesn't have to do that anymore. All our meters are wireless so they can stand outside and they can look on the meter and just stand outside use the device that they have to check them check my meter i don't have to go, they don't have to come in my house anymore which is a godsend you know because when you're working <laughs> they come they decide okay well this is what it's reading and that's not really true what it's reading so i'm kind of happy that they can stand outside and take an accurate reading of the uh, you know of the energy you know electricity which they are not really going to do again i mean they'll do it once in a while but because again we're solar so since we're solar we don't have to have them come into the house or whatever however whatever so i think that is it that's just a watered down version of you know um my journey with solar panels i encourage everyone to get it everyone because it saves money. It really do. And I showed you with the proof that my electricity bill was $18. You know, so, but I want you guys to do a lot of research. Again, I did a lot of research before I even jumped into it. And I want you guys to do it. Now, the tax incentive, there's a deadline with the tax incentives. I think if I'm not mistaken, it might be 2023, if I'm not mistaken. So if you guys are thinking about going solar, just try to just uh, double check on when the tax incentives will run out because it's very important for you guys to get the tax incentives. Um, anything else? 
I think that is it for right now. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you out, you know, with any information. Um, if you guys wanted to see another video or if you want me to talk more in depth in this because now I'm at 20 minutes, um, just shoot me another uh you know, another comment and let me know, Kim, could you, uh, I, you know, I'm kind of this, so could you explain this, that, whatever, and I'll be more than happy to help uh, try to simplify what I just said. I hope I wasn't all over the place. I was just trying to condense everything into, you know, even under 20 minutes, and I wasn't able to do that. So till next time, everyone, I want you guys to stay blessed, be safe. Bye now.